Yo, 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 what's up? How y'all feeling out there today? It's Friday. It's Friday. If you was involved in network marketing or direct sales, you'd be excited every day, not just Friday. Well, listen, we're going to have a good talk today. I got a question for y'all. Have you ever talked to yourself? Have you ever just, uh, come on, let's be honest. Have you ever, have you ever talked to yourself? I'm talking about, have you ever just, you know, been rolling around out there and, you know, you were just talking to yourself. Sometimes you talk to yourself in your head and sometimes you talk to yourself out loud. Well, listen guys, if you don't talk to yourself, you better start because the most important conversation you could ever have the most the most important conversation in the world the most important conversation in the world the most important conversation that you in the world is the one that you have with yourself so today we're gonna have a good little talk got about 30 minutes here so if you gotta go just come back and watch us later now, you know, today is my off day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But remember, I'm, I'm, I committed to doing four days a week, teaching you how to go straight to the top of your network marketing company. And today is Friday. So I did Monday. I did Tuesday. I did Wednesday. I did Thursday. I'm supposed to be off today, but I'm back. Anyway, today we're going to have a good conversation. This is, um, uh, We'll, you know, on Monday, we will, you know, I'll be resuming the 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, that'll be day five, and we'll be talking about some good stuff, really good stuff that's going to really help you go to the top of your business for sure. But today, this is something a little different. I don't know why, but uh, there were several things on my mind today that I, I felt like uh, I needed to get out that I felt that would really be able to help. A lot of people out there so I thought hey don't 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 talk about it be about it that means do it right so I'm here doing it I'm driving on my way to an appointment and uh, I know some of you may not have 30 minutes and I want to highly encourage you to to come back and maybe watch this when you do have time and uh, let's see if I can get this out my mouth <laughs> the way that it's in my head but um Hey, 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 be careful, be careful, be careful. Don't, hey, hey, watch out now. Valuable cargo coming through, valuable cargo coming through. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Anyway, you guys can hear me okay? Hopefully, am I coming through all right out there, guys? I hope so. Um, anyway, listen. You know, I was sitting there thinking... If I... was to leave the earth today what would I want to be known for what would I want all of these messages via Facebook or YouTube or you know speeches and talks that I've done and you know meetings that I've done what would I want to be known for and it was a really powerful thought it was really really powerful you know I it's not until you start to really think about one day we all got to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? One day we all are gonna gonna leave. All of us. <laughs> I heard somebody say to me, "Well, there's only two things guaranteed in life: death and taxes." <laughs> and so, I, listen, me personally, I'm totally at peace with death. I'm totally at peace with it because my creator, uh, that's the rules of the game. That's the rules of the game. That's the rules of the game. That I get to come in, but one day I got to go out. Now, obviously, I don't want to go out any sooner than he has intended for me to go out. But it, I want to say this to you. You know, the day you're born, in my opinion, is... It's important. Sure, you came into the world. 
and the day you die, you know, that's kind of significant. That's kind of significant too. But uh, the most important thing that's going to be on your tombstone is not the day that you were born, nor the day that you died, but the dash. What did you do with the time? What did you do with the time? You know, I remember when I was really, 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 really broke. And I really, 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 really wanted more money. And it wasn't until I got around extremely successful people that the thing that they valued more than money was their time. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I, and I, I remember saying, man, look, I got all the time in the world. I just want some money. <laughs> I remember thinking that way. But it wasn't until, you know, I got a little bit older, a little bit wiser, and I realized, wow, it's true. Time is more valuable than money because you don't get time back. And so what you do with the time is so doggone important. And so I was sitting there thinking, like I said, if, if my life were to end today, what would I want to be known for? What would I want the thesis of my life to be about? And really, I, I felt compelled to share that with all of you because you know, some of you may think that, you know, uh, you know, he's weird, he's crazy, he's, he's whatever, he's whatever. And, you know, look, I'm okay with whatever you think. Hey, it's your thoughts. It ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's your business what you think. <laughs> but, 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 but I want you to get my message. You know, if you had to summarize my existence, my energy, what would I want to be known for? What would I want to be known for? And I thought that I would literally take a moment to share a couple things as to what that would be. Look, you know what? I, I, first of all, I want people to know I'm not perfect. You know, I, I'm far from perfect, and I really mean that. It's like the closer you get to me, the more you know, wow, he's really not perfect. And so I want people to know that, number one, he was not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes. I think the other day I said, uh, I'm a mistake making man. <laughs> so I'm not perfect would be number one, but number two, I would say I'm real. I, I, I take responsibility for the choices that I make in my life. Good, bad, and the ugly. I take responsibility. I don't pass the buck. If I did it, I gotta own it, period. So I would definitely want to be known as someone that, man, he was real, number one. But, but also more than that, number three, someone that literally, I want the world to know that you are more than enough. You are truly more than enough. I, I, I want people to know that, you know, yeah, you're different. Yeah, you're unique but you're truly more than enough. You're not perfect. You're gonna make mistakes, but you're truly more than enough. And I think the reason why that's so important for me, because the world does such a wonderful job of trying to make people feel like unless you are graduated from this college, unless you live in this part of town or drive this type of car or know these types of people or whatever, you know, we beat ourselves up, man. We do a good job of beating ourselves up. We just really do. You know, I remember when I was, I'm 38 now, but I remember being a lot younger when I was, I don't know, 13, 14. And, you know, I always wanted to be something else other than who I really was. And, and, I, and, I, and I find that this is pretty normal. This is what most people think. Oh, I would like to be like her or be like him. Or if I could do, when I grow up, I want to be this or be that. We all have these types of thoughts. We all do. But, but the point of it is, is that we always want basically what we don't have. 
and and for me because I've pushed the envelope a lot in my life you know I've pushed the envelope that's just my personality but but it wasn't until after I pushed and I pushed and I pushed the envelope that you finally realize that wait a minute I'm more than enough I'm more than enough I'll never be everything to everybody I never can and neither can you but you know what you are more than enough again look you're not perfect but you're more than enough and I, I, I want my existence to be known for someone that just was real and someone that that you know what despite whatever you've been through have gone through whatever you know tribulation or trial that you're facing that it, it's not over keep fighting never give up you can do it it is true I never said it was gonna be easy to do it but you could do it but the thing is most of us we beat ourselves up so much that there's nothing left of us to give because we we, we just constantly beat ourselves up about what we're not about what we don't have about where you live or whatever you know and you just you know and this is not just a black thing this is a this is a people thing I mean I find of all the people all over the world that I've that I've met and that I interact with and that I know everybody does this Latinos whites blacks Asians men women everybody boys girls they all do this they all beat themselves up and you know for me I want the world to know that you know what there's nobody like you the moment you step into you and you start to really truly believe in you man the lights truly turn on the game finally begins and I really mean it. I'm not saying that just because you believe in yourself, all of a sudden, a million dollars is going to show up in your bank account tomorrow. But what I am saying is that if you don't believe in yourself, then how can you ever, ever accomplish anything? And the reason why I'm talking to you about this is because I know what it's like to constantly doubt yourself. I mean, I, I mean, I, oh my gosh, I know the spirit of doubt. I know that spirit. To always question if you're enough, if you did that right, if am I doing it right, am I doing that right? I, I just listen, I know that thought process so, so well of always questioning, never being at peace with, you know what? Okay, so Bob does it that way and I do it this way. You know, Sherry does it that way and you know, Tamara does it this way. There's, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Just because I'm different, just because you're different, just be, doesn't mean you're wrong. And, and, and I had to, it took me a long time, folks, to really, really, really come to grips with I'm more than enough. And then I began to look in the mirror and I said, you know, hey, you, look, young man. You're not perfect. You're never gonna be perfect, but you are special. You are unique. You know, you got a chance to clean up what you messed up. It's not over. There are no wrong paths or wrong roads. All the roads lead to a place called somewhere. So there's no wrong paths. And I just wanted to come on here. There's a few other things that we're going to talk about. And I just wanted you guys to know that if, the, if my life ended today, now look, don't get no crazy ideas. There ain't nothing lurking over me. There ain't nothing supposed to, ain't nothing about to happen to me. But it just, sometimes when you, when you lose somebody or somebody dies or, you know, uh, it, it really, you know, it really, it really, it really makes you, it makes you pause for a minute to really ask yourself, what is life all about? What is life really all about? Unfortunately, 
money you can't take with you. You just can't. You know, the book that I read, it talks about leaving an, leaving an inheritance for your kids' kids. And I actually believe that. I believe that, frankly speaking, your children should not start where you started. Frankly speaking, your children ideally should start where you ended. And that's what it means to pass on a legacy. And so money you can't take with you, you just can't. So life can't just be about making money. It just can't. You know what I've realized? I've realized that we're not human beings having a spiritual experience, but rather we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Write that down. That's really powerful, guys. I'm telling you, that one right there is for the ages, baby. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And you know, that's powerful. At the end of the day, what I'm basically saying to you is that everything is spiritual. Everything, everything. That's why your vibe attracts your tribe. Your vibration is gonna attract your tribe. Your vibe attracts your tribe. And so I want to encourage you to really, really, really begin to develop you more. You know, I'm 38. You know, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 17. Many of you have heard my story. You know, started off as a, I dropped out of college after the first year. I was broke. My parents said they wasn't going to give me any more money. My parents did an excellent job raising me and my brothers. Um, I don't have any, you know, I don't have any uh, biological sisters. Uh, but my parents did a wonderful job. But the moment I decided to drop out of college, they said, that's it. That's it. The buck stops here, buddy. And I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. But I remember looking at my parents, telling them that, you know, whatever I decide to be, mom and dad, I promise you I'm going to be a winner. I promise you I'll never quit because I never saw them quit on us. They fought to put me and my brother to Catholic school. And we were just a middle-class family, but going to Catholic school, elementary Catholic school, uh, high school Catholic school, you know, they wanted us to have, you know, uh, a good education. We grew up in Oakland, East Oakland, you know, inner city. Um, and they, 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 they did an excellent job of raising, uh, you know, my brothers and I, and I'm so grateful and so, 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 so in love with my parents. They did a wonderful job, wonderful job. So uh, the idea of quitting doesn't even come in my mind. I can't give up, you know, they never gave up on me. How could I ever turn back around and give up on them? And the reason why I mention that is because when you're young, your parents, you, you know, your parents take care of you. But as your parents get older, the way the circle of life works, is as they get older, you take care of your parents. That's just what I believe. And so the idea of quitting, it doesn't even register my brain. And so I say that because what I wanna be known for is just someone who he never gave up. It took me a while to finally accept who I am, accept the way that I am. Now I'm always trying to get better. I'll never stop trying to get better ever, 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 right? And I encourage you to do the same. But the difference is I don't compete with any other man or any other woman. I don't compete against other people. I just don't. My life is not a competition. And there's nothing wrong with competition. I think competition is healthy. But I think that's the, th the reason why I don't compete is because I remember all the time when I was younger, always wanting to be like somebody else always wanting to you know i just it, it just i was never content with me i always was trying to be one day i wanted to be a, a rapper the next day i wanted to be an nba ball player the next day i wanted to be a a preacher <laughs> i was so confused <laughs> i was so confused and so you know it's hard to be authentic when you're trying to be everyone else and it wasn't until that I was able to learn and discover 
the value of me, how important that I was to the grand scheme of things. In the big picture, how important I am. Wow, all that power is inside of me, really? For real? Whoa, that's powerful. You know, and then once I discovered that, and I wanna encourage you to discover the same thing, you know, it, it literally changes the game in a big way. Look, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't, a billion dollars is not going to show up in your bank account tomorrow, but I can tell you this, you don't have to be good to get started, but you got to get started to ever become good. You got to get started to become good. And I had to realize the value of me and realize how important I was and, you know, little old me, you know, according to how I was created, there's a lot of power inside of me. And there's a lot of power inside of you. And unfortunately, you, you, you can never, you're never, you're never able to maximize your power if you're always doubting or second guessing your validity. If you're always second guessing how, how, how important you are, you, you, you'll never be able to maximize how powerful you have to know that you come from greatness. And you know, look, this is not a spiritual platform, but I'm gonna keep it real, you know me. That's just what I do, people. So um, I believe personally, it's it's very difficult to know who you are until you know who God is. That's just my personal belief. And the reason why I believe that is because you need to know the image that you were created in. Once you know the image of which you were created in, you'll really see the, the bloodline, if you will, that you come from and how rich it is. And that's for whites, blacks, Asians, uh, everybody, everybody, everybody. Now listen, if that's, that is true, number one, but we all make our own choices. We all make our own choices. I've made some bad choices. I have, absolutely. But I learn from them, right? And I continue to make mistakes that I learn from. But I just, I just want you to know that you are more than enough. Look, man, look, I, I know some of us are short and we wish we were tall. Some of us are skinny and we wish we were fatter. Some of us are, some of us are, some of, some of us are fat and we wish we were skinny. Some of us are, you know, are, 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 are dark skinned, wishing that we were light. Some of us are light skinned, wishing we were dark. Some of us got big noses, wishes we had small ones. Some, let, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I, my goal, my wish for you is for you to one day soon be able to look in the mirror and approve of you. To look in the mirror and be like, you know what, man? Look, this is what you blessed me with. And I thank you for the blessing. And I know that I'm, val I'm valuable. I know that I matter. You know, th this scar right here, this no, this, 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 that, the chip tooth, this, whatever imperfections you may have, you know, this thumb right here versus this thumb. You know, see the difference? One of them I blew up and the other one I didn't. <laughs> so just the point of the, the message is just, getting to look in the mirror and just say I love you say I am enough I really am enough there will always be some people that like you there'll always be some people that just don't like you I, you know all you can do is operate from a place of love and and kindness and and you know that's all you can do 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 so this is really important because if your life's body of work is going to be known for the dash, what you did with the time, I don't want the, I don't want, if your life's body of work is going to be known for the dash, I don't want the majority of your life's time to be spent, confused, uncertain, not sure of who you are because you won't ever be able to make the impact that you are created to make in the marketplace until you come from a place of certainty where you know that you matter. You've got to know that. I mean, I want you to get that. I don't care what company you do. What that mean to me? It's a billion companies out there. I don't care what company you join and do. I don't care about that. My friendship with you is locked in, baby, to the end. I'm a real dude, not one of these fake guys. 
well, if you join my company, we can be friends. But if you don't, you can't call me. Man, come on, man. Get them people out your life. That's called a cult. C-U-L-T. I don't believe in those things. Okay? But, but if your life's body of work, if your life's body of work, if your life's body of work is all about the dash, the dash, the dash, I don't want you to spend the majority of your dash being insecure, small-minded, uncertain, don't really know who you are, always doubting yourself. I don't want that to happen to any of you. I want you to quickly fall in love with you. Not be arrogant, but quickly fall in love with you so, so the world can see you and what you have to offer because you matter. You were created from greatness. You were created for a purpose and with a purpose. So we need you to get in the game. You, we need you to get in the game. There is something inside of you that is designed to help somebody else. And as long as you let those dark demonic thoughts make you feel that you're not worthy because you got a scar, because you got pregnant early, because you grew up in the other side of the tracks, because you, you know, you know, your mama told you she didn't love you, or because of whatever, 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 you are blocking someone else's blessing. Because each and every single one of us are assigned to someone. Let me explain what that means. You see, what if the man who made the vehicle, who made the car, never st never stepped into his purpose. We wouldn't have no cars to drive. What if the gentleman who developed the telephone didn't step into his purpose? We wouldn't have no phones to be talking on. What if the man who created the sunglasses didn't realize his purpose? We wouldn't have no sunglasses. My eyes would be all messed up. What if the man who created the baseball cap didn't realize his purpose. Wouldn't be no hats to keep our heads nice and warm and cool ones like this. What if, you know, the person who, who, who created these little water bottles right here, what if they didn't, you know, step into their purpose and do what, what they was called to do? We wouldn't have none of these. You get my message, people? I don't want you to spend majority of your life uncertain of who you are, unsure of who you are. I don't want, come on, come on, listen to me. Listen to me, guys. I can't make the choice for you. You got to do that. You, you got to make your own choice. I can't do that one for you. Look, I'm telling you every day it's a fight, but I ain't giving up. Oh, no, I ain't tapping out. No, baby dog, I ain't tapping out. Homeboy, I'm not tapping out. No, no, sir. No, sir. Not, not, uh. And you shouldn't either. You shouldn't either. You should not either. So listen, I know that I'm giving you a mouthful. I told you it was going to be about 30 minutes. I hope that you will maybe, you know, rewind the tape and play it again for yourself. But let me give you just a couple things before I leave to go here to, uh, to my appointment. Environment is very important environment is very important let me give you an example if you take the little boy who grew up in the ghetto and you were to put him in the suburbs i promise you he'd be a totally different kid but likewise if you took the kid in the suburbs and you put him in the ghetto i promise you that kid would have probably been totally different as well what's the difference the difference is what you see what you hear becomes your reality. In other words, your environment, it actually speaks to you. It becomes what's normal for you. And so have you ever heard, you know, uh, you know, I'm a product of my environment? Well, environment is super important, people. It allows you or helps you to believe or not believe. Environment is everything. And so what I, what I, what I, here's the deal. Places were created before people were. And so you have the choice, even if you don't have any money, that you can actually literally surround yourself with some good people. 
You can go to a place that's serene. Maybe it's water. You can put signs up in your apartment or your home that speak to you. That's what I did when I was 19 years old. You came to my one bedroom apartment. I had signs all over the all over the wall. I mean, and I, you know, I don't have the, the best, you know, penmanship. And I had, I mean, these were big signs. I had orange ones, greens one, green one, yellow ones, red ones, and I, they were they, but the words that were on those signs spoke to me. It helped me. It just did. Because I was fighting for my sanity. I didn't know what to believe. And you remember, I'm a young man coming up the ladder. I'm looking around, looking at everything, listening to the radio, internet. You're right. All these things are trying to get me to believe in or or, 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 you know, you know, trying to pull me in a direction. And I'm grateful that I, I, I kept looking at those signs. I kept looking at those signs. And I remembered when I dropped out of college that that I, I was going to be successful. I was going to find a way to be successful. I was going to find a way to be successful. And I got to tell you, being successful at anything is never easy, but it's necessary. It's necessary. And so, guys, listen. My message is twofold. One, if my life were to be over today, all I want you to know, all I want you to know from my vibe, my style, my bravado, my just, you know, my energy, I want you to know to never, ever give up, number one. I want number two, be you. Can't nobody do you like you. You matter. I know you think you're weird. I know you think you're too fat. I know you think you're too black. I know you think you're too white. I know you're not sure if you speak right and you don't. I know that's doubt. We all have it. It's inside of all of us. I've heard some of you say, well, when I get to this point, I'll finally be approved to do. No, no, no. Give, your, give yourself permission now to be you. But, but try to be the best version of you every day. And the only way you can do that, you got to take personal responsibility. I hate people to say, well, this is just how I am. Take it or leave it. Then guess what? I'll leave it. This is just how I am. Take it or leave it. But that's the wrong attitude. This is who you are today, but you should strive to want to be better tomorrow. And if you make another mistake, get back up because you're going to make a lot of mistakes. We all are. Dust yourself off and keep it moving, okay? But I want to see, my, my message is to be the best version of you. Be the best version of you that you can be. There's no one in the world that can do it like you, baby. No one can. You matter. Did you get that, boy? <laughs> no one can do you like you. So I want... My wish for all of you is to do you. Do you. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up is my message. It's, it's amazing. When you look at this world, man, it's a beautiful place. Opportunities are everywhere. Everywhere. Every, every, opportunities are all around you. You can't fool me to believe that something doesn't have your name on it, baby. You can't fool me to believe that something does not have your name written on it. Yes, it does. You've got to know what you want. You've got to know who you are. You've got to know that you matter. You've got to know that it's your time right now. Yes, it is. Absolutely, there are going to be people that talk about you. Absolutely, there are going to be people that talk about you. All I want you to do is give them something to talk about. Absolutely, people are going to talk about you. Of course. Just give them something to talk about. See, if they're not talking about you, then honestly, that means you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Nathan. Nothing is the polite way to say it, but the slang way to say it is Nathan. You ain't doing Nathan. <laughs> Guys, I'm comfortable with myself. I, know I can speak proper, I can speak slang, and don't, I say it the way I want to say it, okay? I understand what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. You understand the word nothing, and now you just learn the word Nathan. Try it. Say it. Uh, what, 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 will somebody call you up today and say, what you, what you got going on today? Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. What, what, what did you just say to me? Paul, what did you say? I said I ain't doing Nathan. What the heck does Nathan mean? Well, you got to look up in the Ebonics Dictionary, baby. That's not in the Webster. That's in the Ebonics Dictionary. Ebonics. Nathan. 
look, lighten up, lighten up. Don't be so stiff and serious. You know, relax. You understand. My point is, guys, you're more than enough. You're more than enough. So I'm going to end it right now. There's a lot more I want to talk about, but I'm going to end it right now. And, you know, if you found value out of this, you know, send it to somebody that you love and care for. But just remember, guys, in all that you do, there's nobody in the world any greater than you. It all begins with you. You're so dang on important that I just can't wait for you to discover how important you really are. The little things about you that you discount, those are the most important things about you that make you so unique. I'm saying it again, the little things about you that you discount, that you don't think are much, those are the most important things about you that make you unique. And the moment you get that, it's time to light them up, baby. It's time to light them up. Once you get who you are and how much you matter in the grand scheme of things, it's on. It's on. You know, it's an old saying we used to say when we were kids. It's on like Donkey Kong. It's on. So with that, guys, I love each and every single one of you. I'm about to step into my appointment, guys. This is just a little good talk this was just some little good talk i was just rolling in the car i felt that uh this was necessary hopefully you got some value out of it guys love all you guys it's a california kid i'll see you soon have a great friday